telling this story, making a buzz this afternoon. Imagine going to war in Afghanistan only to come home to find yourself in a battle over a swing set. That's exactly what's happening to Bill Fry. The 45 year old Texas native says before going overseas, he got verbal permission from his HOA to build a swing set for his boys. Well, when he came home, his wife was being sued for not taking it down. The way that um, the homeowners association has treated us and portrayed us to our neighbors, um, you know, it, it has caused a, a fairly sizable rift. All right, it turns out that swing set is visible from the street and is close to a neighbor's property line, so there has been at least one complaint from a neighbor. The HOA says Fry never got written permission, and because there has been a complaint, the swing set needs to go. The Fry's have agreed to move that set if the HOA will split the cost with them. The HOA says no way. What do you think about this situation, and what do you think about HOAs in general? Have you had good or bad experiences with them in the past? Oh my gosh, our Facebook page has blown up with All their that. thoughts on <laughs> HOAs and they're not good for the most part. Terry, what's your take? Well, the perils of living in an HOA. Yeah. When you sign on that dotted line, you sign for everything. And if you need a plan, get it in writing. I mean, there's been all kinds of complaints on things far more minor than a swing set, like putting a flag out, yeah. and then everybody gets all bent out of shape over even an American flag. It's the perils of living in an HOA, and I'm sorry, I think this couple, as much as I would like to see their kids swinging, I'd like to go swing on it myself, <laughs> they, I think they are in the wrong, and I think the head of the HOA was very kind, from what I saw of video, for this family, but the bottom bottom line is they stepped outside the bounds, proceeded to spend $1,200 to put this up, and now want the HOA to help them take it down and split the legal costs. Uh-uh. I have to side with the HOA on this, even though I'm not a fan of HOAs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, a lot of people say, you know what, he's a war vet. And maybe that's, maybe they're trying to show a little empathy sure. here because he's a soldier. Let's In the not, empathy yeah. department, Let's he not make gets the war. flying colors. Yeah. Right. But I don't think he's going to win this case. Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> HOA has rules. And apparently all of this stemmed from the next door neighbor who thought, well, this is just a little too close to our property line. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I look at it, I don't see it as an eyesore. And, you know, again, like you said, get everything in writing if you can, because I, apparently they did have some sort of verbal okay. That a verbal okay by the then architect at the time, mm -hmm. but they did not submit formal plans to the head of the HOA. And I agree with you, Rebecca, it's not an eyesore, but nor is, in my taste, a pickup truck if it's parked overnight at somebody's property on an True. HOA, and there has been dust-ups on that oh, yes. a la well, we, mode well, yeah. on just a pickup truck. That's right. true. I mean, it, there, it, it, there's community is that well if you have even a little bit of grass that's grown, weeds oh you get the <laughs> weed alert weeds, you're in trouble yeah that's you're right fine. it gets really really technical and that's what an HOA I guess that's what they're, they're a government in and of themselves yes. in their own little oh. confine there their <laughs> commune Let's get to those comments because yeah. uh, you're going to tell us what you think Trisha Wadley says they don't seem to provide any actual service except butting in where they don't belong. I know of neighbors who've been fined because they forgot to take their trash can in for a day when they were sick. Oh, Keith Howard, HOAs need to be put on lockdown. <laughs> they can and often do get out of control. The sad reality is they have more legal leverage than the actual homeowner. And Jennifer Turner says HOAs are in place for a reason. You know this when you decide to move in. You have to follow the rules or move plain and simple. Mark Guerrero, HOAs are a complete joke. Unfortunately, Every community built the last 20 years has one, so it's impossible to escape them. Why too much control for such little service? And it's, you know, if you, if you wanted to move out of that development, it's, it's difficult right yeah. now with the housing situation. A lot of people are underwater, and they're stuck. Yeah, and I, I feel sorry for the it. kids, but I don't think he's going to win, vet or not. That's a good point. I just don't. Well, keep the dialogue going. Keep the conversation going on our Facebook page. All right, ABC 15.